What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, I want to talk to you about SoFi. So far, everything has gone according to plan. I want to go over some of the current data points, what happened today, and everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So today, it did go up 2.57%, piggybacking off of the broader market, optimism. And like I said in yesterday's video, this whole week is going to be a very much technical driven week. So SoFi's technicals are looking very primed and ready. It did have to get over that $9.70 mark and it did like butter. Didn't even phase it whatsoever, but it did struggle with that $10 heavy resistance level. So it bounced off of that uh, several times throughout the day, had a high of $9.99, 25.82 million shares being traded, 44.25 is the average. So a little bit lower in comparison to last couple of days, but big money was still very much getting in. So these are all the transactions that did occur over $100,000 on the secondary market, 1.3 9 million, 2.22, 7.12 million, and first thing, 1.84 million. So big money, very much interested still in SoFi. So that's kind of a good thing. And looking today, there has been no SEC filings, no press releases, but like I said in yesterday's video, a lot of companies just take the whole holiday season off. So you kind of go radio silent, so no PR, nothing like that. So that's kind of a good thing, maybe. So it's kind of easier just to look at some of the technicals and whatever else. I do want to play a quick video because this does put it in perspective on why the broader market is rallying. And this analyst is, I don't know, I don't want to call it too bullish, but he does anticipate that the market is just going to completely continue to run, which will help SoFi and a lot of other value stocks out there. Because I do actually feel, based on SoFi's earnings, SoFi is a very good value play as well. But that's just me, a financial advisor. So like I said, I'll just quickly play this uh, a minute video or so, and then I'll go over some of the rest of the data points. Is eight really enough? Well, we're gonna find out because stocks looking to make it nine weeks up in a row as the S&P 500 now tries for its longest weekly win streak in nearly 20 years. Joining us now on where we go ahead is Ed Yardini, one of the biggest bulls on the street and, of course, the president of Yardini Research. Ed, it's great to have you on CNBC and Closing Bell again. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on. Sure. You've got a 5,400 price target on the S&P by the end of next year. Why the optimism? Well, 5,400 by the end of next year and then 6,000 by the end of uh, 2025. I think this is a bull market that uh, has legs that's going to continue to charge ahead. Uh, the optimism is uh, fundamentally based on the notion that uh, we had a recession uh, this uh, past year, but it's been a rolling recession. The rolling recession actually started in 2022. Uh, and now as we look ahead here, uh, we're looking at rolling recoveries in a lot of sectors that went into a recession. But the overall economy has proven to be remarkably resilient particularly the consumer. I think that's likely to continue to happen. I think what we're seeing here is a, a, a significant relief rally. And the relief is that we're not going to have an economy-wide recession. And the relief is that inflation, in fact, can come down without a recession. So keep in mind, when they say 6,000 by the end of 2025, given SoFi's growth, That'll just be magnified. Of course, just the basic S&P would go up, well, I don't know, what is it, like 30-something percent. SoFi most likely would quadruple that. So their multiples, which right now are at a pretty substantial discount compared to a lot of the brick-and-mortar banks. But in general, like SoFi will do so much better than even this very bullish um, guy is or analyst is talking on. So once again, uh, let me know your thoughts on that. No real recent analyst ratings, but same goes for that. Most likely it's just going to be radio silent this week. For shorts, though, they were very active throughout the day. So ultimately returning about 95,000 shares, but they were all over the place today. 15.07% of the free flow is being shorted. 132 or sorry, 134.73 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average kind of was all over the place a little bit higher in comparison to friday though so 0.97 percent and through interactive brokers short availability does indicate that there is about 6.6 .6 million shares available to be shorted looking at the options though today 7.8 million dollars in calls being purchased versus 1.7 million in puts 49% of all the options activity today, sentiment-wise, was bullish. So people clearly are anticipating for SoFi to continue to trend up 
and break past that $10 mark of the call options that were purchased. Huge amount of optimism for it to be above 1050, which is fairly good if you ask me. So keep in mind though, if it does close above $10 by this Friday, you are going to have about 23,000 in open interest that does get exercised. So that's going to cause a nice bump up in the price because market makers are going to have to cover that. Similarly, if it does close above 1050 and then $11, this is how a gamma squeeze comes into play. And of course, once the stock price does come up uh, based on just the options, you are going to see naturally shorts close out a lot of their position because I still do feel 15.07% is too high for what SoFi does offer in the broader market. So let me know your thoughts on that. Looking at the puts though, people are anticipating for it to be sub $9 by the end of this Friday. So kind of opposite extremes for that. With it at $9.96, it is between this pivot and the R1. So $10, so that very strong heavy resistance, that psychological $10, and then above that is going to be $10.06. So those are two points to watch for. Above that is $10.28 and then $10.65. So I do feel that this week is going to be a fairly positive week for SoFi. And on the odd case, it does retrace down a little bit. 933 is going to be a very strong support. But for those of you that are fans of the Elliott Wave, it does have the pivot point set at $8.81. If it does stay above that, so far it seems fairly optimistic that it's going to, then in the short term, it's anticipated to come anywhere between 1170 and 1230. So once again, pretty good stuff in the short term, whether you are looking at the Elliott wave or if you like my technicals, whatever floats your boat, both are very bullish. Same with shorts closing out the positions, options activity. So you kind of have a very perfect storm for SoFi to continue to trend up. So you really want to watch for it tomorrow to close above $10 and ideally above 10.06 as well. Looking right here, number of retail investors were getting in. You can tell that based on the momentum indicator and stochastic, despite it being being at 81, which is considered overbought, you do see a start today of a bullish sentiment. So black line above the red. So a lot of interesting things are coming down the pipeline for SoFi and a lot of optimism as well coming out from analysts. So what's your viewpoint on SoFi? Have you been buying today? Did you sell? What did you do with SoFi? And do you agree with the options sentiment that it is going to be above 1050 by the end of this week? So between this R2 and this R3, or are you more leaning towards the puts that it is going to be between kind of the lower end of nine? What's your thoughts? I actually think it'll be probably between this R1 and the R2. I don't know if it'll have enough given just the technicals this week to be above 1028. I would absolutely love to be wrong, but keep in mind, if it does continue to go up, then the stochastic is going to be very overbought. So any sign of weakness within the broader market, SoFi is going to sell off. So I'd rather have it go nice up naturally than artificial just pumping up. So with all that said, I appreciate all of you watching and let's all make a lot of money on SoFi. Mm -hmm.